Okay, so it is Monday night. Me and T are going to cook dinner, but before we do that, we have an unboxing to do. Dun, da, da. This is the Breville 3000. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Here it is, we're gonna unbox it. I need help because I didn't realize how big this thing is gonna be. And this is my only counter space here. So, um, we're gonna figure this out together. I'm definitely gonna get rid of the Keurig because I don't even use a Keurig anyways because the Keurig sucks. Sunshine on my Sunday best. This thing is cute, but it does get a little sticky. Oh my God, oh my God. Coffee Bay 97. You better watch <laughs> out, girl. Oh. I like how crunchy they are. dramatic music. Oh no. Holy yeah. crap. See, like, we gotta keep all these instructions. Yeah, I actually know kind of how to Oh, really? Yeah. Is this one your uncle had? No, I used to work. Yeah. No, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How many TikToks can we talk about? <laughs> I know, one minute. <laughs> it's always fun getting new gadgets. Like, so fun. Oh, here's the cup for but it. But this is this gets really hot. Uh-huh. That's why they always have to the towel. Very careful. I'm gonna have yep. a happy and you towel. and you have to do this or else it'll get um mildewy. Mm -hmm. So you have to wipe it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's it's it. Ooh, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it for five minutes. Wow, look at this. She's get I even got a spotlight on her. <laughs> She's a star of the show, baby. Soaking water filter. That looks Thanks, good. Right? Yeah. And then it says fill it up and then fill tank and lock. Where's it going? Oh. Gorgeous. This power, this is for sure locked. Yeah. Press power. Oh my god. We've got water! And then run this for 10 seconds, it says. How do you do I that? I don't know. <laughs> god, why are we so scared? <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this cannot be right. I've seen it before. Oh, maybe that's why we have to do it for 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. It's, it's getting it out. It's running through Malibu. Back off. You your daddy, son. <laughs> hey. Hey. Look at this. the grind, grind size. size. Grind them out. Okay. Should we try it? We're in action, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. So this is just the grind. Oh, push to grind coffee. Uh-huh, and then it's gonna come out. Yeah, there it goes. Because so it can get like uneven. Mm -hmm. So they said, I forget what he said, but mm -hmm. you want to make sure it's like right above. Oh, I see. And then you twist it. Okay. So it gets like even. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is gonna, this it honestly would be quicker to go drive through Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, <gasps> scary. Me. It's usually like so it's like sideways like yeah. this, and then you Lock it in. Yep. And then you have to lock it. Yep, you got it. Go. All Here the way. Go. Is that it? it? Okay, then what does it say? Okay, single. Should we just do single? Yeah. Watch it like come out of there. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my yeah. god. That's it? Okay, so is that it? All that for that. <laughs> Should we try it with some milk? Maybe we should do a double. Yeah. It Ooh. looks good though. All right, first shot of espresso. Heating it, you just press this little shot button and it will just run some hot water and you can do it. Let's just do this. Okay. And you wanna make sure that the inside yeah. of it is perfectly dry so that there's no droplets of water or condensation or anything like that. And then you wanna... <laughs> Feel the water in there, the milk. Cold as ever. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. Stop it. <laughs> it's 
very hot. Oh my god, it's scorching. It's scorching hot. But be careful, is water gonna squirt out of it now? Is this how you're supposed to do it? Yeah. Like milk on top? Yeah. Well, it just wasn't probably frothed enough. Kidding. Wow, okay. I dare you to try, I dare you to try it. I dare you to try it. Oh my god, you should, get to, you should put some cinnamon on top. Oh, cute. At 7.30 at night. <laughs> Third one of the day. Before dinner. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's, it's gorgeous. It is, and that's... Cute montage, is that it? It only takes an hour. <laughs> Literally, you guys can whip this out in like an hour, and there if you go. you do it right, an hour. Okay, hi guys. So, it's been a few weeks since I've gotten my espresso machine, and it's actually been a few weeks since I've vlogged. Life has just been so weird and crazy. I started a new job, and we'll do a little life update soon, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you my coffee recipe that I've been making every day since I got my little espresso machine. It was literally the best investment I've ever done and I do not regret it at all because I make like three coffees a day. I thought I would share with you guys like the recipe I've been doing and how I've been making my coffee. The beans that I use are, I've been using the blue bottle ones so this is what they look like. These are the best beans, they're so good and they make my espresso taste so good. And yeah, I've been making lattes pretty much every day for the past couple weeks since I got this espresso machine. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it then I gotta start work, so let's do it. I'm gonna start frothing my milk because it takes a couple minutes, so this is the um, milk frother that I have. I got it off of Amazon, and what I'm gonna put in it, I'm gonna do mainly oat milk, so I'll fill it up like that much. And then I add a splash of this Chobani coffee creamer. It's, um, it's a caramel flavor, and I'll do like, oh. Literally, just a tiny splash, and then I make. This is gonna be iced, so I'm gonna push the cold foam button. And I, I did lose the lid to this thing, but here's what it looks like right now. So this is frothing. So we, yeah. So we've got the grind amount right in the middle, and then I've got the grind size at five. And so I stick this in here, and then you just do a quick tap. Boom. Just like that. It does make a mess. I have to figure out how to not make a mess. Okay, so then what I do is I take my little tapper. Well, I kind of tap it on the counter a little bit. And then I take this. And I press it down flat. Okay. And then we're going to stick her in. And then I take my two espresso glasses because we're doing a double shot. And then I push. And then I push the double shot button. There we have our shots. Now it's time to assemble. This is my new favorite coffee cup. It's from Anthropology. It actually looks smaller, but it's pretty wide, so it fits like the perfect amount. So first we add ice, and then I have this almond milk vanilla creamer from Whole Foods. I literally just do like the tiniest little splash at the bottom. This is like my version of a caramel macchiato. You do a little, whoop, just like that. Then we take our shots of espresso, and you pour. Boom. I actually like to do a little bit of water because I don't want it to be too much milk. Um, so I do like another shot full of water. And it, it kind of is nice because it, it helps like rinse out the espresso so you get like every ounce of espresso. So here's our shots. We have a little bit of the vanilla creamer on the bottom. And then 
Our milk is done now. So we take our frothed milk and we pour. Um, excuse me? And then I kind of stir it up. Oh my gosh. I really outdid myself on this one. Look, here's the thing. This is not the healthiest. I understand that. Like, I understand there's sugar in the creamer. I really only do a little splash of the creamer. So to me, it's like everything in moderation. I'm not pouring a shit ton of sugar in there. I do a little oat milk and I do a little creamer. Honestly, I don't care. This is the best coffee ever. And some days if I'm not in the mood for like a sweet coffee, and this isn't like super sweet. Sometimes I don't want sweet, like I don't crave sweet at all, and I'll just do like an Americano. So I'll just do my espresso shots with water, and then I'll just foam a little bit of oat milk, and I'll put that on top. But this is when I'm going all out, and it's a Thursday, and I'm feeling like I need a little pick-me-up to finish this week, and so I went a little all out today. This is better than any coffee I've ever gotten at Starbucks, any coffee I've ever gotten at Dunkin'. All right, now I have to get on to work. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and I have all the intention of vlogging every day, but I've been working three jobs pretty much between my new job that I started, I was still teaching classes at F45, and then also I still have one-on-one -on -one clients, so I've been very, very busy, and I actually just quit F45, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore, which is kind of sad, but it's also like a relief because I was just like so exhausted constantly that I just like never felt like filming. And I felt like I was just constantly working and like I can't vlog when I'm just working. So now that I've got this new job and that's pretty much all I'm doing, um, I'm going to start having a lot more time to film videos. So new morning routines, new night routines, new workout routines. Like my life has kind of taken a little shift and I will be vlogging a lot more. So I know this video was kind of short, but I hope you guys liked it. I just wanted to show you my like new coffee, my coffee routine. <laughs> this is my coffee routine. If you're looking for a sign to get an espresso machine, take this as your sign. I think she was like $700, but we used some of the money that we got from the wedding to get it and I got it off Amazon. So it came literally the next day when I ordered it. So I haven't gone to Starbucks or Dunkin' at all. And yeah, it was kind of expensive and it was an investment, but I've been saving so much money by not going to Starbucks every day. So that's it. That's all I got for you now. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.